Kevin, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Mystery Ranch Two Day Assault Pack. So this bag is something of a carry legend with its signature tri-zip design, but is it the right bag for you? Let's find out. Let's start with materials and specs. So this bag comes in a variety of different colorways. This is the black colorway, and it is entirely 500D Cordura. So I really like 500D Cordura as a material for backpacks. It's very durable, yet lightweight and not as stiff as 1000D. So good material choice with the 500D. We've got YKK AquaGuard zippers throughout, which is a nice touch. The bag empty weighs in at three pounds. Its stated volume is 27 liters and it's 21 inches by 12 inches by 11 and a quarter inches. All right, so moving on to exterior features, we've got the signature tri-zip design and we'll get into how that functions a little bit later when we open up the bag. We've got lots of PALS webbing across the front. We've got it on both sides and then we've got it on the bottom as well. Something interesting on the bottom is there are some drain grommets, if you can see that. There's one on the top, one towards the bottom that are hidden by the Molly loops. So pretty interesting how they did that. Uh, if there were water to get inside the pack, it will drain via these grommets. Meanwhile, they are protected from exposure by the Molly webbing. So if you can see that drain grommet right there, kind of cool design how they did that. So we've also got a couple compression straps on the front, one on the bottom, one on the top. The top one has some keepers built into it, you can see. You can also use this strap to retain something like a tripod, if you're gonna put a tripod in the side pocket. We've also got, and I love this feature about it, but we've got two pockets in the lid that are both accessible via AquaGuard zippers. We've got a loop field on the lid right there. Some Mystery Ranch branding. So it's a fairly large uh, branding patch sewn in but uh, it's pretty low key with the grayed out on black look. I, I kind of like the way it looks. You'll notice across the board, we've got some very long zipper pulls on all these zippers, which is paracord like material that is knotted at the end. So good zipper pulls overall offer very good purchase to open and close zippers. So there are water bottle pockets on both sides. You can use it again for tripod, water bottle, anything you wanna put in there, obviously. We've also got tabs on the ends of all the zippers. So every zipper has a, a pull tab, which is nice, provides good purchase to pull against when you're opening and closing zippers. So on the back side, we've got an adjustable harness with some very comfortable straps. If you're not familiar with how Mystery Ranch harnesses work, they come in different sizes. This one happens to be a men's large, extra large, but they're adjustable via a built-in adjustment tool. So if you open that flap up, and if you can see the tool sits inside there, you pull that out. And if you shove it in behind the harness, it separates the Velcro between the bag and the adjustable portion of the harness right here. And then you've got some reference marks and you can basically tune this to your torso length and set it up exactly how you want it. And then when you're done, this goes back inside and also acts as part of your frame sheet and the frame of the harness. So pretty cool setup. Basically allows you to fine tune this bag to the perfect fit for your torso length. And uh, I love that about Mystery Ranch bags. They're extremely comfortable to wear. So we've also got some load lifters on the straps up at the top. Little bit of webbing on there. You can clip stuff too if you wanted to. Small loop. And then we've got a sternum strap, which locks onto that webbing. And then for the back panel, we've got some mesh covered foam, offers some breathability and overall just a very comfortable wear. You've got a little bit of lumbar support too on the bottom, if you can see that lumbar pad in there. So very comfortable bag to wear overall. It really fits the curvature of your back if you set it up properly. Mystery Ranch bags, if you've never carried one before, are very comfortable. Also on the back, we've got a couple loops of nylon with some attachment points if you want to put a hip belt on there. So lastly on the back, we've got the laptop access zipper right here. So this zipper, if you pull it open, offers access directly into the laptop area of the backpack. A nice big nylon zipper garage that that zipper zips up into. So when it's closed, you're not exposed to the elements with the opening of the zipper. Let's move on to the interior and interior features. 
So the first thing I want to go into is these lid pockets up top. Now, I really love, this is probably my favorite feature of this bag. I love the lid pockets and the access, and I like having two of them on here. So we've got a smaller one on top, and we open up that zipper, and I've got a Garage Build Gear Mightier pouch with loop in there. It's a tight fit, but it gets in there, no problem. And this is the smaller of the two pockets. Underneath, we have a larger pocket, and inside the larger pocket on there, I've got my Topo Design mini dop kit, and then I've also got a Cap One. So both of those fit in there, no problem. Love having that quick access through those lid pockets. Really cool feature. So moving on to the main compartment. The main compartment is accessible via the tri-zip design, and it's really a hybrid concept here because you can yank this open and access it like a bucket. So if you're short on space, maybe you're on an airplane or you're in an area where you don't wanna lay your bag down flat, you've got top open access to the contents and a really wide top opening too. So you can really get in and access everything. And then additionally, if you do need more access or you wanna to get to every corner of the bag and you've got the space to lay it down, you can unbuckle the compression straps and fully open the tri-zip zipper. So I've got inside here a wax canvas pouch. This is the uh, Roaring Fire Smolder pouch. I've got a VanQuest fat pack, great pouch. And then uh, flipping this up so you can kind of see down inside, I've got a water bottle in one of the dump pockets in the front. And then I've also got a nice long lens, which is stuffed into that other dump pocket. So really like the dump pockets on the front of these. I like to keep a water bottle in there. I prefer not to have them on the outside unless I have to. Uh, that way they're not falling out when I lean over. And these pockets keep those bottles upright on the inside, which is great. So much less likely to, to leak that way. So love the dump pockets. Then in the main cavity, I also have a small camera cube and a cap two. And then we've got this pouch pocket right in the front here and that pouch pocket is basically the perfect size for the garage built gear ultimate edc organizer so i just picked this up just just showed up a day or two ago i love garage built gear pouches and this edc organizer is no exception awesome organizer this is a wax canvas chocolate chocolate wax canvas so in addition to the dump pockets and the pouch you have in the front, you can use that for a tablet if you wanted to. We also have the main laptop pocket. So this is where you would put your laptop. There is a little bit of stretch material to, to keep that tight. And then it does have a little bit of a false bottom. So you got some standoff from the main pack. And I think you can see that. Maybe if I can open this up all the way that this doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of the bag. Tough to see in there, I'm sure. So there's also some zippered mesh pockets on the inside uh, towards the top. Great place to stash stuff. You can access easily if you just rip the top open. You don't have to open the whole bag to get at those pockets. And then you can see we've got a bit of a loop right here if you want to hang a hydration bladder in there. And then you can port the hose out probably through the top of this laptop zipper. The underside of the lid pocket is mesh. Uh, there's no access to the pocket from this side. It would be nice to have a zipper there, but that's pretty much it for the interior. You've got quite a bit of space in here. The bag loads out very well. Uh, it has a relatively compact shape, so it's it's a narrower bag, more like a, almost like a barrel. Uh, however, it does have a thicker profile than some of the other carry bags out there, such as a CPL 24 or gr1 from go ruck this one packs out narrower but fatter if that makes sense let's talk what i like and what i don't like about this bag so first and foremost i really like the aesthetics of this bag i love the way it looks i think the tri-zip design looks really cool i like the molly it has a decidedly tactical look to it but i, I like it and i think this is just an overall great looking bag so that leads me into like number two which is the actual tri-zip design or the y-zipper and 
the access it allows for and, and the fact that it's a hybrid between a bucket and a full open, almost like a panel loader, right? So you can have basically full access or you can have top load access, which is kind of the best of both worlds. And I really love that about this bag. So another like is the top lid pockets. Absolutely love those for their convenience and the quick access they offer. When I carry to the office, for instance, uh, I can put anything I need to get out there regularly or frequently in those zippers and they're easy to get to with the bag standing up. You can't mention likes with a mystery branch bag without talking about the harness system. So this is probably one of the most comfortable bags I own to carry. If you set up the harness properly to your torso length, it just, it follows the curve of your back and is an extremely comfortable bag to carry. And lastly, I do feel that this is a relatively compact carry for its capacity. So I think the capacity carries well in this bag in terms of its overall size. So let's move on to what I don't like. And my first on the list is the laptop compartment itself. So I think it does the job, but I'm not a big fan of the laptop compartment. It's right up against this hard back system and it, it just doesn't feel like it's very well padded on the back side. Now it's padded against your back, but I feel like I could have some more padding on this side of the laptop compartment. I mean, that's basically hard plastic right there up against the back side of your laptop. Otherwise, it's easy to access, it's very convenient. So dislike number two is I do wish they had a little bit better strap management on this. So this keeper is here, we got some danglies, that's not adjustable. And then the bottom doesn't have keepers at all. So I think it would have been great to have a keeper right here to hold that one. Uh, I just, I would like if it had a little bit more strap management. Also, you know, the load lifter straps dangle, and then we've got really no strap management for the, the harness straps either. So I would like to have seen a little bit more in terms of strap management. And that's really about it though. Overall, great pack. I really like the two-day assault pack from Mystery Ranch. I've enjoyed using it for quite some time now. So I got this a while back. I've been using it off and on for a few months and absolutely love using it. It's a joy to carry. Great bag overall. So let's talk use case scenarios and who this bag is for. So I carry this in a variety of situations. I used it for office carry. I used it for hiking and camera carry. Uh, I did a little bit of traveling with it. And I think it, it's suitable for all those situations. Where it really shines to me, though, however, is as an outdoor bag, though. I found myself really using it more often as an outdoor bag for hiking, uh, oftentimes carrying camera gear. You can lash stuff to it. If I've got a tripod, I can lash it to the side with the bottom in the pocket. Uh, it's got the molly on the bottom if you want to lash something to the bottom. So I think although it'll work fine as an EDC travel or outdoor bag, it really shines through as an outdoor bag for me. This bag screams outdoors. It begs me to take it hiking. I think if you're a tech heavy daily carry person uh, to and from the office, for instance, I think you could find a better alternative than the two day assault pack from mystery ranch. I would think something along the lines of the CPL 24 from Evergoods, for instance, is going to be a better choice in that situation. However, if you're looking for something to span the outdoor world and the EDC and tech carry world, I think the Mystery Ranch two-day assault pack could be a great choice. It can accommodate your laptop. It's got the, the compartmentalization and the organization for daily carry, but then it also does extremely well as an outdoor bag. So for that type of user, I would say the Mystery Ranch two-day assault pack, great choice. So what do you think of the Mystery Ranch two-day assault pack? Drop me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Do you have the bag? Do you like it? Is it on your wish list? Do you have any questions? Again, drop me a comment. And if you found this video useful at all, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button for me. And if you're into bags and everyday carry gear and you'd like to see more reviews, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks.